So with the library out of the way, let's move on now. Next up. Ooh, a pharmacy. I bet uh, Mikan will like this. Let's head inside. Yep, Mikan is totally here. I figured as much. She's squealing in excitement. What's with you? I'm sorry, I got excited I started shouting. I was so happy someone talked to me. Poor people either hated me or were grossed out by me. That's sad. More importantly, this is a drugstore. Looks pretty spacious. But also empty. Uh, with all these medical supplies, I'm pretty sure we can handle most illnesses or injuries. If you don't feel well, let me know. I'll give you lots of shots. Lots and lots of shots. Um, hmm. You know what? I'm okay with that. You can give me shots. A Jimmy might not want it, but you know. I've, I've never really had an issue with getting shots taken. Like, shots were just never really an issue to me. It's pills that I can't take. But yeah, looks like that's really all there is to this. Like, just a bunch of medicine. I'm not really seeing a monokuma here. Right? Oh, oh, wait, actually, there's one hidden here. Boom. That was hidden well. But we got it. And I guess that's all that's in here. I feel like most of the places are so empty and useless. Like, in Danganronpa 1, I felt like most areas had much more purpose than... Um... The areas here seem to have. I'm not sure if that's just me though. Okay, let's go to the diner. Or at least the entrance to the diner. The signboard says diner. I guess I should try going inside. Pork burger, it's called. Interesting. Anyone inside? It looks like. Oh, it's you. Okay. I'm trying to eat right now. Go away, dumbass. Hmm, just yelling at me with a hamburger in one hand? Wait, why is he here? He wasn't at the restaurant? Why does he know about the new island? You know what? We'll, we'll worry about that later. I'm gonna look around a bit. Is there really nothing to interact with? See, that's, that's another thing. It feels like there's so little to interact with in these places. It's a bit boring actually, like, I really, really wish it was more interactive. Well, let's just talk with Fuyuhiko, even though he's gonna yell at me. Why are you here? How did you find out we can go to this island? <laughs> are you a monkey or something? Do you not understand human language? <laughs> because you leave me alone when I'm eating! No name person went out of the way to tell me. I'm guessing Monomi. Then I found the space and now I'm eating here because I'm hungry. <sighs> Mystery solved. You happy now? Get the fuck out of here and go somewhere else. How about that annoying person? Mind your own business. It's got nothing to do with you. Actually, it does have to do with me. I know what you're thinking, but we're all in this situation together. You're not the only one stuck in this island. We have to work together. You should know that by now too, so... Why are you avoiding us? <laughs> I'm not avoiding you bastards. I just decided not to rely on anyone. Not to rely on anyone? <laughs> that includes the Kuzuryu clan. I can still survive without relying on them. Huh? Are you actually... Can't don't get it twisted. I mean, you Kuzu by blood. It's not like I don't want to have the family business someday. I just want to prove I've earned it. Prove I can tough it on my own without relying on my clan. Plus, even if I fail, the clan will still be around. My little sister would be happy to leave. You have a little sister, huh? Shut up! Why did you let me bring that up anyway? You brought it up yourself. Anyway, I don't intend to spend any time with you guys. Nothing good can come of it. Nothing good, huh? <laughs> Isn't it obvious? In this kind of situation, interacting with others will just shorten your lifespan. Those idiots, Byakuya and Teru are proof of that. 
<clears throat> Plus, it'd be frustrating to be held back by the affection when it's my time to kill. So, yeah, you're still saying that. Of course, I'll sacrifice the lives of everyone here if it guarantees my survival. Even if you don't actually mean that, you're awful for saying it. <laughs> you're the one who spoke to me without my permission. Don't get pissed at me. If you're so upset, you don't have to stick around. Fuck off. Yeah, I don't know why I talked to him. I, I, I knew he was gonna yell at me. So there's no Monokuma inside here, at least. I don't see one. So... I guess I'll head outside again. Okay, maybe we can explore the parking a bit more. There's a bird here. I can't even look at the bird. Okay, there's Chanter Beach. Billboard. Then our signboard is spinning. Hmm. Anything else here? Niner itself. Hmm. I don't really see a Monokuma here either. I guess we'll uh, check out the Chandler Beach. Wait, who's that? The scream? Was that Ubuki? Ooh, and we can run around. Okay, well. There's a beach house there. We might want to go inside. But Ibuki is standing on this beach. And there's a Monokumi in a life raft. Can I get that? Yep. Hey, Monokuma. Cool. Um, that one wasn't too hidden though. But let's uh, talk with Ibuki here. Why did she scream? Are you alright? What happened? Science! This is bad! I'm panicking so much I don't even have time to space my words! What's going on? <laughs> the killing, the killing started again! Really? Already? Look over there! Let's see... What the heck is this? And how did I not see this when they were like literally doing this on the beach? Had enough? Have you learned your lesson? <gasps> He's done it! Nekomaru Nida's ultimate move, Super Body Blow! That's isn't that, if she's lucky she'll live another 5 minutes at best. I think they were just sparring, Ibuki. <laughs> Akane. At your current power level, you cannot even defeat a mere team manager. What are you saying? Why are you guys fighting? Mm. Ha! This isn't a fight. <laughs> it's a one-sided beatdown. That's worse. The rules of the school's rep clearly state excessive violence is prohibited. Training, sir. What violence? This is not a real fight. We're training. Like I said, it looks like a real fight. Mm. Oh man, Hajime is so naive, it's getting a bit tiresome. Ha, I'm just a team manager, there's no way I'd be able to fight for real. We both agreed to this training session. I'm not fighting any rules at all. Even so, why this an interest in training? Yeah. If I gotta admit it, she's alive! She's not a weakling who'd get killed by a weak blow like that. Yeah. You look pretty strong, so I couldn't help but get excited. I thought Spartan would help me burn off some of this energy, but I lost. <laughs> More importantly, there's a lot of strong dudes in this world, huh? Mm. 
What a bunch of battle loving troublemakers. Kane, it seems you're the type who learns through actions rather than words. So I shall give you just one piece of advice. How you use your body and muscles, your positioning and your timing, it's all half-assed. You're not utilizing your ultimate gymnast talent well at all. Basics. Make sure you understand the basics. You'll always be second rate if you just rely on instinct. Damn it, shut up. If you understand what he just said, come see me. When the time comes, I will fight you once again. Huh, you better not forget what you just said. My desire to win is pretty crazy. I won't give up until I beat ya. Alright, wobble away like a penguin. However, if you fought that fears with just your own style, how ominous. My hands are still numb. That girl, she's probably gonna get even stronger. Yeah, you're probably right. A uh, weird conversation. Okay, so... I mean... There's a nice little beach area. There is this beach house that we can enter. But uh, let's see if they have anything to say. You too. Basics are the foundation of everything. Yeah, I get that. But training that resembles a fight might be fun, but just don't get hurt. Impossible. Injuring an athlete would disgrace me as a man. Alright, good to know. The more you fight, the stronger you get. That's what a, being a battle lover is all about. Uh, yeah, weird conclusion. I'm gonna go ahead and back off now, and... Is there anything over here? No. Okay. Just checking. Let's uh, enter the beach house. Oh, hey, it's soda. Yeah, it looks quite luxurious. A celebrity style beach house. Is there a Monokuma inside here? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. I mean, there's a Mono. Is that a Monokuma or just some cat holding it up? I don't know. Let's talk with Soda. Yo. Hey, doesn't this feel awesome? Like celebrity's pad or something? Shower's out of order, but the ambience is nice. For just stock with loads of drinks. <laughs> Plus, the beach set feels so private. It's awesome. Compared to urban seas that are full of trash and debris, this place is completely different. Yeah, we're the only ones anyway, so anywhere we go is a private beach. Oi, oi. Hey, don't shatter my dreams like that. More importantly, why don't we splash around this private beach? Oh. Awesome, totally awesome. Splashing around at such a gorgeous beach is really the best. Uh, yeah. Just be your happy-go-lucky self. Sonia I wonder if Miss Sonia would come too. I want to see Miss Sonia in a bikini. You had your chance at the start, right? Or well, I guess she was wearing a school bathing suit, not a bikini. You can! It's here! Why not? Are you trying to interfere with my love affair with Miss Sonia? Changing in the beach house is permanent. It would be bad if shameful peeking occurred. So you mean changing here isn't allowed, not going to the beach itself? Huh? Then I'll just have to come here after changing. I'm never gonna give her up. Yeah, you might let her down though. Anyway, bringing the rules is not allowed. Also playing is fine, but please focus on your studies too. Where, where, where's the rule breaker? I'll beat the crap out of him, no questions asked. Uh, please put the gun away, Monokuma, please. Yeah, yeah he's there. What are you holding? Huh. Huh. A machine gun, obviously. Rule breaker's only shot to death. That's just common sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's common sense where? It's not like we're under a military dictatorship. <laughs> I want to shoot something. I know I'm not allowed to, but I really want to shoot something right now. Can you roll yourself? I have iron willpower. It's all under no matter what the cost. Until the day someone breaks the rules. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's very dangerous. Please refrain from changing at the beach house. Uh, yeah, that was definitely bizarre. Ah, <sighs> okay. So we can go to the roadside door or the beachside door. No drinks. Color dies. Hmm. There's a trash can. Okay. We'll have to keep that in mind because someone might discard something in the trash can. At some point. Fancy looking bench. 
The closet? Small storage room, like a walk-in closet. Surfboards. Okay, and then shower room we can't enter. Looks like it's being repaired. Okay. I guess that's really all we can do in here. We well, mentioned Nagita at the restaurant. Sort of looked pretty unsettled about something. Okay, well, we'll ask him about that then. It reminds me, I had something to ask you. Huh? Huh? What? What's well, about Nagito? Yeah, he seems unsettled. Do you know where he is? Yeah. I don't know, seriously, don't ask me. Who cares about that crazy ass bastard? We need to search his island first and foremost. There might be a way to escape. Mendoza. So let's just end the whole annoying talk right here. That's it, all done. Yeah, you forced that conversation to end. There's something something weird going on. But hey, Chiaki, back from the ruins? What happened? I'm letting everyone else know too, but you can't come to the ancient ruins on the island right away. You can, right? Right away, okay? Hurry up. Well, she might have found some clue. So we, I guess I should head over there. And it's gonna force me to go there. Okay, that works for me. What the heck is this? Such a gigantic building. However, it's clearly faded, like an ancient ruin. Yeah. It seems perhaps this is an actual ruin. Wait, actually... One thing this reminds me of, that door at the front. Looks really like the doors of Hope's Peak. Could this be Hope's Peak Academy? No, no, no. How should I say this? Don't you think this building resembles a school? Oh wait. It's going to be Hope's Peak, isn't it? I don't know how, but I do see what she means. There might be a resemblance to Hope's Peak Academy. That's crazy! There are a lot of similar looking buildings. Maybe just go Winston's? Right? Oh. You found something right, Chucky. What did you find? I'll oh, fucking cut you if this is a waste of time. <laughs> I didn't know you were also here. The bitch over there kept bugging me, so I finally came. <laughs> Did you maybe find a way to get off the island? Mm -hmm. No, nothing like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then who cares? I should have played in the bath with my hero more. Cool. And then what in the world did you find? I found something, I wonder what it is. But... Yes, th this is totally hope speak. Oh my god. Does that Does that mean that Makoto and the others are inside? They can't be, right? There's a strange ambience. They can't be inside, but cuz Biakuya was already murdered. So they must have already left. Plus the door would be open if they. Ah, oh, this is weird. Let's talk with Chiaki. What did you find? It's not a way of the island. Does it have something to do with the island secret? Ah, oh, she put her hoodie up again. Mm. About that, I don't know. Oi. What do you mean you don't know? Mm. It's like it doesn't belong with a building like this. I keep thinking about it, and it feels unnatural. Mm. It's like a comic book, or reading about baseball becoming a side-scrolling action game. That would be weird. It's unnatural like that. Mm, a little hard to understand. Look, that door over there. Yeah, I saw the door. I'll look at it again. It's hard to make out from all the dust, but that's the door you mean. Yeah, it looks like that's the door to the ruin. So what's wrong with this door? Can you go inside? Before we attempt to go inside, let's try brushing off some of the dust and clearing some of these roots of the door. You know, I'm pretty sure you'll understand what I mean by unnatural. I don't really understand, but I guess we should try what she says. Yeah, you're right. Let's brush it off. And then? Yeah, that is a hyper-modern door. Doesn't feel like it belongs in an ancient ruin. Like a door from a cypher movie, don't you think? Definitely doesn't fit with an ancient ruin. What's the symbol on the door? Looks like it's Japanese. 
Ah, you're totally right. Um, sorry if it's just my misunderstanding. It looks like it says Mirai or future. Future, huh? Hey, who cares about a symbol on the door? My pretty, how do you open it? What's inside? Yeah. Looks like there's a liquid crystal display next to the door. Could the two be related? Oh. Alright, that must be the key to open the door. It's probably set to open when you type the password. Hi, hi. Acting on high and mighty. What's next? It's so obviously impossible to put in the password without any hint. <laughs> Are you saying a normal person can open it, but a Yakuza can? That's hilarious! Shut up! If we just type whatever, we might get it right. Uh, I think we should wait. Doesn't that seem dangerous? Huh? What do you mean, dangerous? Well, there's the giant gun next to the panel. In fact, that's totally a gun. Yep. That's a gun? If it is, it's probably very dangerous. Possible you might get shot if you mess up the password, right? Damn it. Can't be out. Looks like it's better if we don't mess with it for now. He's totally freaked out. Shut the hell up. You do it then. Still, a building that looks like an ancient ruin with a door from a sci fi film? It's definitely a natural. This is probably an important place. Uh. Important place, huh? The problem is, how is it important? <laughs> You're both quiet? You guys know about this building too, right? Just be honest with us. No, I have no idea at all. I don't know either. So now everyone's focused on getting the home fragments. Hey, there's no way you guys don't know. Don't just show up and tell some lousy lies. You guys are probably the ones who covered that door with dust, right? Uh, just as I thought. You guys were hiding it on purpose, right? Hey, don't talk like we're equals, you trashy bitch. I'm sorry. Say you're sorry, bitch. Hey, I just said it. I just said I'm sorry. Is it possible there's a connection between this door and the reason this island is uninhabited? For example, this place might be a shelter. There might be natives inside. Is something happening that would make them hide in a shelter? If so, we're all screwed. Mm, several possibilities crossed my mind. But it looks like there's no way to confirm it yet. The door is really sturdy. But not in a material sense. More essential than that. Huh? Huh? What are you saying? For instance, even though Monomi and I can come and go as we please, we can enter what's beyond the door. Mm, you can go inside too. Doesn't mean you're the same as me and... There, now that I've shot my sister up with a fantastic Pegasus meteor fist, this is the mystery of Jet Rock Island, a mystery that even Monomi and I can't solve. That's why I have high expectations for you guys. One day, you'll be able to solve that mystery. <laughs> <laughs> Seems easy enough. All we can do is remember what that black and white Tanuki said before. Why are there 16 of you? A total of 15 from most week where I arranged to come to this island. That's right, there's probably a traitor I don't even know about hiding in the group. It's kidding. There's a traitor among us. That's what that ugly tanuki said before. Calling young Leon a tanuki. Those kinds of silly names don't depress me in the slightest. Oh, you liar. You are totally depressed. Yep. <laughs> there's a traitor. They'll probably know how to open the door, right? There's probably boats or a way to contact the outside world beyond that door. Or maybe whoever's controlling Monokuma and Monomi is hiding there. <laughs> but do you really think there's a traitor among us? <laughs> of course there is. Who the hell is it? Hurry up and confess. <laughs> there isn't, there's no traitor anywhere. <laughs> Monokuma, what about you? You're the one who mentioned it. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> oh, just, have you guys heard of an organization called World Ender? Will Ender? I'm the one asking you a question. Don't change the subject. I understand why you'd want to ignore it. World Ender is such an embarrassing name. So embarrassing that only middle school students 
No, elementary school students would come up with it. But the name is unavoidable because that organization actually exists. So what is this organization? It's literally what it says. Those guys ended the world. Ended the world? That's an unknown statement or metaphor, you know. Those guys really did end the world. So don't you think it's appropriate to call them World Ender? You mean they're a terrorist organization? Terrorists, huh? That might be accurate. But only losers are terrorists. If they manage to win, they become heroes. In that sense, they're more like heroes. They're the heroes who ended the world. So what? Don't say things that don't make sense. Well, actually... This would then come back to the end of Danganronpa 1, where basically... Uh, it was, we were told that the world had ended and that we had been inside the school already and the school was basically this impenetrable fortress around the rest of the world that was ended. That wouldn't explain why the school is now on an island. Although, technically we never got out of the school so it could have been on an island all along. Things are getting interesting now. Don't tell me you're gonna say this organization is the one putting us through all this crap. Well then, are you saying that you and Monimi are members of that organization? Who knows? The only thing I can tell you is, the organization that the traitor is working for, the ones who brought you to this island, World Ender is behind it all. Why are we being targeted by a horrifying organization like that? Don't panic. This is another made up story to trick us. Like when he said we lost our school memories. I can't suspend my disbelief for something as ridiculous as World End. There's no way the organization or the traitor exists. No, no, cool. I shall listen to you spout nonsense all you want. While I puff cigar smoke at your lifeless body. My, my. I was kind enough to keep you guys informed. Are you calling me a liar? If you keep acting like that, I'll do this and that to your various body parts. I'm telling the truth. The World Ender Organization is the final boss of this island. One of their members is hiding among you guys. That's why you guys gotta find the traitor and kill them dead. Hey, you men are stop. Shut up, Monimi. Big Brother defying trust like you need to be punished. No way they're gonna come. Come on. Well, they're gone. But yeah, what was that? Is there anyone who understands what he was talking about? Not a clue. And Chiaki, please tell me you didn't sleep through all that. For now, since the sun is setting, we should just go home for the day. I think it's a waste of time for us to keep thinking about this. Yeah, you might be right. But it's getting dark soon, so going home might be a better idea. Let's just call it a day. Yeah, that's literally what she said. But after exploring the new island, all we've uncovered are more mysteries. As we lowered our heads and bemoaned that reality, we began heading back to our cottages. Hmm. If, if I actually look at the staircase on the right, it looks like I've missed one of the five Monokumas on the first island here. So I still need to look for that. I'll, I'll need to look around and see if I can find that. And I have three of the ones from the second island so far. I need to find two more. I'm not tired from walking around all day. I don't know what's going on, but it's starting to make my head hurt. Ancient ruins, strange doors, traitors, and world ender? No idea what's going on anymore, and I don't even feel anxious about it. I guess I should go to sleep for now. Yeah, that might be the best. So, I laid my exhausted body onto the bed and closed my eyes. My least favorite food is definitely crab. I also don't like shrimp, apples, tomatoes, and seasoned trout eggs. I also don't like red foods at all. Red foods are red because they have crab inside of them. No? Just, just, just no? 
It's actually a conspiracy by the crab industry. They tried to make me overcome my disgust. There's no way I'd fall for that. I will never ever eat red food. You see, our society is filled with various hidden conspiracies that are closer than you might think. Right. Okay, Monokuma. <laughs>